I've just received a very credible first-hand report from those on the ground in Kabul saying that the Taliban are going door to door looking for those who had worked with, had fought alongside the Americans, and they are looking already for retribution. There are terrified people cowering their houses, trying to destroy any evidence that they had worked with the Americans. What we learned from John Kirby, the press secretary here at the Pentagon, we learned the defense secretary authorized another battalion from the 82nd Airborne, which had been on standby in Kuwait, to go to Kabul. That should bring the number of U.S. troops authorized to return to Afghanistan to 6,000. As of now, there are 2,500 at the Kabul airport. Another 500 are expected to land by tomorrow, once flights resume at the international airport. No flights are taking off right now, according to Kirby, as U.S. troops try to secure the airport and regain control after thousands of Afghans flooded the tarmac. Two security incidents to mention at the Kabul International Airport today, with two armed Afghans killed by U.S. troops.